everybody. Sorry, we're a little bit late today. Well, three minutes late. We had a customer. Um, so we're a little bit late, but hello. Hope you're all okay. Another week of um, Art Lives, and we are doing a Banksy week this week. So we're doing this lovely piece here. Just going to see who's about, if I can. Sharice normally does this for me, but she's busy in the back. She's busy in the back. Thank you. It just needs to do that as well. So, pop that down, please. Thank you. Um, we are going to get started. Now, today, all you need, um, we're going to use just paper and colouring pens and colouring pencils, but I have brought along as well um, some watercolour paint and a paintbrush because although we're not going to do lots of drips or anything like that, I just thought I'd demonstrate. It's down to you today to take it however you want, but we're going to do this lovely girl here as a silhouette. You can put a heart in if you want to, but you don't have to. You could do whatever you wanted. We're going to do some bubble writing, some graffiti style writing, and just some nice, just building up a really nice picture. Thank you very much. If you are here and you are watching, don't forget to say hi. It's nice to see that we've got people online watching us today and see if you're joining in. And I'm Sarah from Slut Studio, and this is Isla. So we will get started in a second. I've got a few Banksy's to show you actually. So for those of you that don't know, Banksy is um, an anonymous, which means no one knows who he is. He's a graffiti artist. And some people think graffiti is great and it's a fabulous art form. Other people aren't so happy with it because sometimes people do it on walls that don't belong, on the, belong to them. So it's kind of, you know, some people really love it. Some people don't like it. But Banksy has made a name for himself and he is a graffiti artist who is incredibly famous and his prints and his work go for millions of pounds. Um, but he also, it's not just about, you know, doing a stencil on somebody's wall or something. He has a point to say, so he tries to get something across. So art sometimes, although it might be, you know, you may not like the style of art, um, it's nice because it gets... It, it's like getting your voice across without saying it. You produce art to, to, you know, tell people about something or make people feel something. And that's what he does. And that's why he's very famous. So he does pieces like this, which we're going to have a go at today. So this is one of his iconic pieces. And what he does is he uses a stencil. So he cuts out a stencil and then either spray paints it or paints it onto walls or onto canvases or onto buildings. And I'd quite like him to do ours, to be honest. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, Banksy, yeah. if you're watching. <laughs> Come and paint ours, we'd love it. Um, this is another good piece. This is another one of his famous pieces. It says, laugh now, but one day we'll be in charge. Interesting. So it gets us thinking. And that's another one. And please no more war. Spreading the love. There's some children there. Please These are his. No and he did a whole series of rats as well that look like this. But as I say, he doesn't paint them with a paintbrush. What he does is he does a stencil and then he takes that stencil and he goes and spray paints or paints that stencil on a flat surface. So that's what we're, we're not doing stencils today, but we're going to have a go at recreating the image that he he does here. You're doing and then we're going to do all background. We're doing some by painting and doing some by colouring. Yes, yeah, so what we've got, hi Susie, hi Eliza and Callie, nice to see you. Um, I hope you've got the felt pens. We need bright colours today. We definitely need a black because we're going to do the silhouette. Um, oh, hi it. Yvonne, nice to see you, have you back. And so it's a bit different. We're going to do lots of different techniques today, Yvonne. So um, I might do the drips again, but not as many, just to show the children what they could do. So you can have a little play. I might do some splatter painting as well, and definitely some bubble writing. So if you don't know how to do bubble writing, this is going to be good. 
And oh, hello, Caroline. I've just seen you, Caroline. Um, nice to see you again, Lucas. Luke. What? Lucas? Lucas, who was at the door buying stuff today. He's back. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have got felt of pens. I've got ooh, heavy pot of pencil crayons. And I definitely, as I say, you're definitely going to need a black today because we are going to do the silhouette. Um, I've also got a water pot and some brushes, but you don't need that. You can just do it however you like. So we're going to draw to start with. We're going to start our Banksy. Isla, you haven't got a very sharp pencil there. Let me, that one's a bit better. There you are. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I've just got some paper on my, my easel here. And we're just going to start our Banksy with this lovely... You don't have to be, it doesn't have to be a girl. If you want to draw something else, that's absolutely fine. But we're going to try and get this silhouette. Now, all these little bits in between are what we call negative spaces and they're the highlights. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep it very blocky, very simple. So we're going to start, think about where you want it to be. Think about how big you'd like this to be today. And we're going to pop her on one side of our paper. So I'm going to start on this side, but you can do it on any side. So we're going to do a hair blowing in the wind like this. And then we're going to do her nose, her mouth, and a chin. And then we're going to put in this arm. Hopefully you can see this, it's not great. Let me Mine's going to be a long haired one, like that. Uh, I'm going to have to come a bit closer, Isla. Yours is going to be a long haired one. Yeah. Just going to move you over, just so that everyone can see. Um, when I do a pencil, it doesn't come out very well. I might be better doing it in black. Hello, you're a little bit closer now. Let me see if you can <laughs> that. Actually, I'm going to draw it in black. Now I'm going to draw it in black so that you can see what I'm doing today. I'll go over what I've done, just so you can see. But if you do it in pencil first, it will help. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just draw over what I've just done so that you can see. Mine sort of looks like a wicked wood. <laughs> well, we're just in the outline. So I've got her hair in there and the back of her head. Don't worry too much if you make a mistake because you're going to fill it soon anyway. And then her arm comes around here and the back of her dress is quite triangular. Uh. So you're drawing the side of a girl with her arm extended out and then her fingers it's nothing, you don't do anything really in detail, it's just the outline look. Because we're going to colour this all in in a bit. Just have a go, you can draw any girl. And then her dress comes out like a triangle at the bottom, like that. And then her legs and her feet. Okay, so it's really simple. Can you see? Well done, Isla. So really simple, just outline. We're not going to worry about all the internal bits today. We're just going to do the outline of this girl with her hair waving in the breeze. But if you prefer, you can do a boy reaching for that balloon. You could do... Need to be out to you're going to go over there. You could do it however you like. Okay, so what we want is a silhouette on the side with this hand going out, stretching out towards the balloon. And then once we have done that, you can colour it in. So felt tips will be quicker. A black felt know. tip is quicker. Or um, some paints. If you want to colour it in paint, you can. The flowers. Oh, I think I Oh, hi, Brummick. Brummick? Right, from all of you two are watching. Now, don't worry too much about the drawing. Just try and get a girl today 
a side profile of a girl. I tell you what would be lovely, Bruick, me throwing out ideas where your teachers are probably like, no, but a really nice idea is even to do this go large and draw this out on the playground <laughs> with chalk. I apologise, teachers, but it's a nice way of doing it. So you get them to lie down and draw around, get them to be the positions. Oh, um, that's what me and Molly sometimes do. Do you? And you can draw it. And what's nice, if you do it in chalk, obviously it'll all wash out in the rain. And then you can put your graffiti style, or you could do it against the wall as Ooh. well. Yeah, you can stand it like on near the wall. My black's running out a little bit. Seems like oh. My black's sort of running out. So it's a nice way of doing. You don't have to do it on paper, is what I'm trying to say. You can do this against the wall and draw around each other. It's just that idea of a silhouette. So black is ever drying out, Mum. All of my blacks are drying out. I'm going to yeah, have most, to polish Charisse and mostly I press down. switch to. Mostly I press down really hard if the black's running. Is out. yours working? No. Oh, the... this is like a different colour black, but it might work. Different shade of black. I tried to use. And it's not great nearby, though, is it? I tried to use the bottom of that, and then it didn't work because when it's I put time to restock it. some of our resources by the looks of these pens. So yes, this is a lovely Banksy street art piece. I'm probably going to rub, rub out a bit. Mm, no, mine's not. Great. And also, I'm doing it vertically, which doesn't help a pen. Say no. I'm not getting a lovely silhouette. It looks okay from from there. I'm just going to redo the face because I'm. What the shape of the face? Yes. Yeah, so what you're trying to do is this lovely silhouette shape with hair Ooh, we're blowing in the wind. And then her hand reaching out for a balloon, or you don't have to copy me today, you could do anything. It doesn't have to be a balloon. Maybe you want to make a point about something. Maybe it's a face mask blowing away. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Something to get your opinion or your thoughts out there. See how my black just isn't... I'm not colouring very well today. I apologise. Normally I take my time around the edges and then go fast in the centre, but all my pens are a bit running low. I'm going to scrub away at them. I press really hard and that's the best way to do it. Yes, pressing hard. Then you ruin the nib sometimes as well. Nearly done. So you're just drawing that lovely silhouette, colouring it in black, and then the fun can begin in terms of our graffiti style. Well, my girl you could do this in stencils as well. So if you fancy actually recreating in a way that, say, Banksy does, you could um, get the stencils out. So a stencil is where you, you cut this out, leaving the outside. You cut it all out and then you can um, either dab it with a sponge or do it have you like. But there's my girl. So a really simple shape. Whether you want to do a girl or a boy, you just want to get that profile, the side profile of the nose, the mouth, the chin going down and then they're reaching for something. Okay, so one arm is out. So that's the start of our lovely Banksy today, but it is not. I've changed the, the face end of it. Yes, that looks better. So Isla's on her nose. Can I show everyone? Isla's also um. Hi, Catherine. What's up? Isla's also so she's done the arm extended, but you can see our pens aren't very good today. Cherie, so are there any um more black pens in the back of the in the back of the studio there? Because we're struggling a bit with our. Pens aren't working very well. I'm probably going to go over all the. Dark or if frame. you like, the other things you could, you could do, um, you could have a go at doing the ape. Well, no, chimpanzee, sorry, it's not me. Something like that, if you want to. But we're 
working in the style of Banksy today and putting our own twist on it. So could you find, yeah, all of ours are running out. See what that one's like, Kylie. I hope it is better. It looks good. Ooh. Um, brown. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, they're all really not great. We um, need to have felt tip pens on the list is what we need to do so that when the children come back in, um, ah, good plan. When the children come back ooh, in the youth group, that can, that'll work. Okay, so now I'm going to, I want to do the balloon because I just love the balloon, but you could do anything. When I did this, um, I did this as a piece for the window in the autumn and we did autumn leaves as our balloon but you can do whatever you like as always I'm going to do a bright red hopefully my reds work balloon so she needs to be stretching out towards it with the string just out of reach wavy string there just out of reach as if she's just grabbing at it and then a nice i'm going to do a heart-shaped balloon Ooh. but like i say you can do anything think about what's what means something to you i'm going to leave a little highlight in the balloon as well like that so i'm not going to color in that bit leave a little highlight and color this in it needs that graffiti art is supposed to get your attention. It's supposed to catch your eye. It's never subtle. It's bright. It's bold. Can I actually, can I just do strips of her hair black as well? So being careful. Yeah, of course you can. You need to do the strips of her hair black. So with your colouring today, make sure you don't see any paper no scribbly, nice and full. I'll just show you. So I left a tiny, tiny little triangle of white there for the highlight on the balloon because balloons are have that little highlight on them. And then we can have a look at our piece. So we could, if we wanted to, we could leave it there. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to put some um, writing on mine. Now, he's all about not fighting. So he is against wars, especially children, um, you know, where children are affected by war as well. So we're going to do some lovely bubble writing. There we go. I've done her really nice long hair. Oh, lovely. Where's my wind? I'm going to do some bubble writing. That must be fine. Right. I don't feel like I've got the right thing. Um, okay. I don't know if I should do Now, if you haven't done bubble writing before, I'll just give you a little intro. Um, what are you going to do? Are you going to do a balloon? I don't know if I could do some leaves or a balloon. Like some leaves flowing on. So, we're not going to put it straight, we're going to put things at angles. I'm going to do some bubble writing over here. So if you're doing bubble writing, a good way of starting bubble writing is to write the letter to start with. So I'm going to put L like that. There's my L for love. And then we're going to block it and make it look chunky. So for those of you that don't know how to do bubble writing, oh. start with the letter shape, so just a normal L and then block it, make it look chunky. Also, go, go like, like... There's my la. Sometimes I do a normal la, and do a, then do another la, not a big la. Oh, and then join it and up. And then do the... That's a good idea. But because this is graffiti writing, I'm going to squash all my letters together. So I'm going to have them overlapping each other. So I'm going to have my O coming all the way around here like that. With a little cross in the middle, the love. Then I'm going to do a V. Again, I'm putting it right next to 
my um, O, and then the E is poking behind that. And I'm not going to do separate little sections. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to do it really blocky. Love. So in blocks, chunky writing overlapping each other. And then you can colour that in with pencil crayon, with anything you like. I'm going to do purple. Purple and red. Usually graffiti is always outlined, so it's usually got a colour outlining it. So once I've done this... You can do rainbow I'm going. To, well. Yes, you can. I'm going to go round it again, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm trying to recreate that graffiti style. So I've got my black outline. I'm going to do purple for my letters. And I'm mixing media today. I've got pens. I'm going to use um, pencil crayons. It's a mixed media piece. So there's my love. Love. And then what I'm going to do is go back with my black, with my black pen. And I'm going to draw around that whole shape, trying to keep the distance. Uh, what pen shall I need to do the... Um, letters. Um, like just the you can use round. this one when I've finished. Or shall I use so I've gone round it, look, like a shape, all the way round, and I'm going to do that again. Or you can do this as many times as you like. Or shall I use the brown pen that Trish gave me? Um, that's a two proper. So I've gone round it again, look. Do I go again? Do I go once more? No, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw some almost like exclamation marks coming off. And this is my graffiti style today. Building up my picture. Lots of different styles. I'm promoting love. <laughs> Peace. And then I can go back to colouring. So I've done my love at the top there. So I've got my Banksy style silhouette. I've chosen to stick to the blue you could have done something else and now I'm going to fill my spaces with all these different kind of graffiti style not necessarily a Banksy style but a graffiti style in mixed media so I'm switching between pen and paper pencil crayon Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't check the pens. I thought they were okay, but they're all getting a bit dry. Probably because they've not been used. They haven't been used in the minimum cold studio. No Probably need to turn them up the other way. <coughs> yes, that would get the ink flowing, won't it? colouring in the blocks that I've created. You could stick to a colour theme if you wanted to. Now what I mean by that is you can just choose three colours for your piece or you can be bold and do any colours you like. So there's the start of my graffiti art. Oh that's nice, I'll show you what Isla's been up to. She's got love as well love she needs to color in her circles in different colors that's lovely okay so i might do what should we do now so somewhere else can you do like a little pet with i'm it? gonna go around my heart actually put in can you do like a little pet with it you can do a little pet at the bottom yes. your graffiti mm. 
Hi anyone, Dead Pet. Um, and I might do a big. So have fun with some bubble writing today. You should do your initials, like you've signed it. Yeah. I'm going to do like a weird graffiti S. <laughs> Ooh, weird enough. Now, a signature on graffiti is called a tag. And every graffiti artist has their own tag. So I'm designing mine as I go. <laughs> Mine's going to be S. what my nickname used to be at school. Everyone used to call me SA. <laughs> you children would say SA. Yeah, <laughs> they would. Like if they wanted something or something magical. SA, can I have something or all... it's my initial I think I somebody started calling it me in primary school and it's stuck. Up until I was about actually still now, some people still call it me when I go home. Now the other thing with graffiti artists is they do do some lovely shading. So you could always try and do that in your letters if you want to. So have darker areas get into lighter because it makes it look more round, it makes it look um, more three-dimensional three as well if you want to. But we're just filling up our space. I'm going to put some more bits in. Um, you know what my favourite things are and that is stars so I'm going to add. So just think about what makes you you and just try and do it in a graffiti style where everything's outlined everything's bold and brightly colored might have things in this oh just have fun with it today that's why you put lots of different ones on the so what are you doing what's SR. yours SR. what's yeah. SR? Oh. SR and so SA. Mm. What does that stand for? Uh, SR? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you just fancied doing SR. Yeah. That's nice. Quite often do white highlights on their writing Yeah, as well. so like we were saying with that, I might just go over my highlight a little bit there. Leaving highlights so I'm making it look all... Bold and big. Oh, I like the drippies. I'm going to put some drips on. I might do some drips around my X. So I've got an X here. I'm going to colour this in. And like we were saying, they do have highlights left. You can leave a little highlight. All these are little stylized versions. So I've left a little bit of white in there in my letter bring it closer because I'm doing some quite small bits here so just have fun and then I might do some a, like a drip these are um Banksy does these so you can go round your letters but then do some drippy bits as if the paint is dripped and I'll, cut, I'll show you what I mean. Like this, drippy. It almost looks like an octopus now, but drippy bits around your letters. Oh, we've got something. Somebody. Hello, Tracy. And we've got Maya. I think you've been here before. I feel maybe not. Nice to have you. Hello. So some nice graffiti today. Filling up our Banksy-esque 
choosing your colours carefully and thinking what would work. Sorry, I'm not using that up. My drips. You could do some splatters as well. If you want to, I'll show you how to do a splat. just enjoy getting you know you don't have to copy me exactly put them in different places to build up your lovely wall might even put some bricks actually I think I will I'm put some bricks at the bottom here so if you're doing brickwork it kind of it's half a brick Orange just, yeah, here's my orange. Brickwork. Brick Might do that on the opposite corner as well to make it look. I'm going to do it all over. Here. So draw some rectangles. So if you're wanting to do some brickwork like me, draw some rectangles and then the next row goes halfway so that the bricks are constantly laid like this. If you want, you can use leave even smaller gaps in the middle so you can do like a like sort of a grey colour in the middle so it looks like the concrete yeah yeah that's a good idea like the cement in the centre yeah and when I'm going near I'm going over this area I'm, sure. I'm bringing my wall down I'm just making sure it goes underneath. So every time I hit a line, I'm going to stop and then keep going, building our picture up. So I draw the line and then I get to a line and I stop because this is going to be tucked behind my other graffiti on here. I don't know what to do now. So I'm just doing some lovely bricks. Do you want to do some brick work? No, you don't fancy the bricks. You could do another word in your bubble writing and put it down there. Okay. Or you can do some symbols, like some hearts or some stars. Crown. Put in? Crown. A crown? You can do a crown on her if you want, but if you're going to put it on her, either have it at the top so it's not touching, so it looks like it's an extra, hmm. like it's hovering. Yeah, like hovering over the top. And like a halo. Need... I'm hmm. bringing my bricks down yeah. further because I'm quite liking my patterns of bricks. I want it to cover this whole section really. I might bring it down even to behind here. Let's keep going. Our own graffiti wall. Ooh, nearly messed the pattern up then. Got to keep focused and make sure we're. I'm trying not. I think I'm getting a bit bigger with my bricks. I need to go back. Make sure I don't get close because I want to do it. <laughs> I'm like thinking, oh, if I do bigger bricks, it will be faster, but best to keep them consistent. Bring that behind her. I'm going to keep. 
So a nice brick wall. One more here. There we go. So if I bring that closer, we've got brick wall lit behind her, which I could colour in. Ah, oh, oh, fantastic! So Isla's done. A crown on hers. She's got some letters, a balloon. She's got her love, and she's going to keep thinking about what she can put on there. Now, if you want to, you can colour those bricks in. I might mm, just colour a few of them, maybe. Colour them in different colours if you want to. You can oh, put a rainbow. You like puppies, doing rainbows. The little. You want to do an pet. animal. So make it your piece. Do things that you enjoy. Or try and tell somebody something. Something that you feel in your artwork. Try and get what you want to talk about across. There we go. Let me. I've got some bricks. I've got my iconic piece. I'm going to do some more bubble letters, I think. Do, 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 do. I'm getting. Oh, no, I want to do a splat. I'm going to do a splat. A splat, a splat. But what colour? I don't want to do green because it will look slime. I don't want it to suddenly change its... Blue. Blue. So we're going to do a splat. I've lost the point of the... So we go up and out. It always happens when you lose the point. Because some people press really hard. Yeah, I think. Some people press really press hard. Press hard with the pens. And, and then, and then sometimes the bit that has all the ink on, like the fabric fluff and stuff, it actually goes onto the paper. And yeah. then it happens, then it flaps. Is thinking. <laughs> no, it's a nice purple. Oh, I think of. I'm just going to go around there actually. I'm going to do that again. I might start to join things up actually. So I do a little mini balloon for the puppy. Now, if it. Sorry. What's that? Yes, um, oh yes, definitely. That's a lovely idea. Um, so when I get to the edges here, I'm just not trying to squeeze it in. I'm just trying to take it off. Don't forget all of your shapes that you've got. Can you see how it's just slowly building up? Everything's kind of tying in together. Yvonne's just left. She says she's got to go. No problem, Yvonne. But yeah, we're just building up our picture slowly with lots of nice bubble writing things. Isla's done a little dog. I might leave you to it actually, and I might finish mine and post it when it's completely good done. There's that Isla's. What I like is look, we've got a little Banksy dog. Well, a little. With its own little balloon. <laughs> That's a really nice idea. I like that a lot. Well done. So I'm going to keep going with mine and I'm going to start, I'm going to keep doing some round, go round all these areas. Oh, I quite like these shapes. I'm even, oh, do I dare? Just tying my whole piece in together. Let me show you what we have done so far. So I've got my brickwork, I've got some shapes. 
going round. I've got some lovely letters on my bricks, some bubble writing, oh, and I've got my stars. Banksy style. Where are you going to show them drips? <sighs> I can do a little drip, just as a idea if you want to. So on Monday's um, art class, we were doing um, some some drips that run down. If you want to do that, that's absolutely fine. I'll show you how to do it. So with some watercolour, watercolour works best. If you want to do this or do it at a later point, we rub... Oh, actually, I'm not going to do red. Sorry, I'm going to be pain. Um, we want to have a nice puddle in our palette there. And then what we're going to do for the drips, don't draw the drips in, just tap them at the top by so making a little tap and then let it, this is not watercolour paper though, so how well it will work, we will see, we'll be a bit experimental. So we want that to run, just give it a little tap, you can even blow it down if you wanted to. Wow. And if you tap in the same plate ooh, with a bit of water, it will run down. So you could have a go at this today if you wanted to, if you've got the equipment. And then if you want it to stop running, let it run backwards. And then with a bit of kitchen paper, you can suck up the remaining of that drip and it won't drip any further. Now, if you want to have a go at this properly, I demonstrate it on the other class, on the um, Monday live class. So if you wanted to do some drips, you are very welcome to look at and watch what we do there. But if you just want to have a little look at these ones. So again, I've made a nice drippy paintbrush of watercolour, just with a normal, nothing fancy, just a normal watercolour. And then you can tap to make a little puddle. And then you can either blow it down with a straw, you can blow it just at the top if you want to. But try not, and then try not to um, draw a drip in. That's the only thing, because it won't look very good. So that's just about to go. I'm going to add a little bit. It does go quite quickly, and what I don't want on mine is I don't want that drip to go. I'm just tapping heart. it down onto my heart, yeah. So I want it, the colours and the paint won't. So I'm going to flip it. it back now so it runs back on the path that it's been running down in and sucking the remaining up then it's like they with some kitchen paper. It's like a person running back home, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? What's yeah. Because then. One's going. It's the drip a little person, is it? <laughs> there we go. So that's the way of doing drips. If you want to add some drippy bits in, the trick is I'll do one more before I leave you. The trick is to tap the same area with your painted, with your painty brush to make a little puddle like that. And then let it run down. But as soon as you don't want it to run any further, so add some water to it, let it run, tip it back the other way. So I'm giving it a bit of a tap, making everything wobble, letting that drip run. Give it a blow if you want. And if it's not running far enough, you can add a little bit more water, but watch it because it might run away with you. And then you can or whip it back the other way and turn it over and suck up so it doesn't run any further. That's a way of creating drips if you want to. Are you going to create some drips? Probably, but not yet. There's some drips on mine. I could even go round. I'm really enjoying going round. I'm going to have to do it. I'm enjoying going round stuff. Yeah, I'm really enjoying that method. I'm going 
like yeah. following the shapes of things. I and mostly we... do that with cards and stuff. I love doing it. With card? Yeah, card, like making birthday cards. Ah. Just following the shapes. I'm really enjoying doing that with some different colours there. Because that will fill the image really nicely. I'm colouring in blocks. So you can see my whole wall is starting to take place. But I'm going to leave you to it. And I can't wait to see your graffiti art once it's all finished. Let's finish that little bit for you. There we go. Really interesting. Ooh, there's so much of my paint. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to. I'm going to finish all of this later. Graffiti style. Isla's is here. Oh, graffiti think, style, Banksy graffiti style I artwork think today. I need to put some more in the background. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's, yes, we can do that in a minute, can't you, when we go? Are you going to come and say goodbye? So that's the last of our lives on a Wednesday today. We're not doing any more. We are going to do some pre-recorded videos. So we're still about and we're still going to um, be creating, of course, yeah. aren't we? So we're still going to be creating lots of art, but we're going to do some pre-recorded videos and upload them because I was back at school next week. <laughs> I know you are all back at school next week, which I hope you're looking forward to. Um, and then... You can do them whenever you like. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining me. And we will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.